It was a cold Christmas day, 1864, in the Longfellow house. And the chill was not just because of the winter winds that howled outside, but because the hearts of a father and his children were cold as ice. Francis, their wife and mother, was gone, dead from burns sustained in a fire. To add to their despair, word had come to the family that the oldest son, Charles, had been badly wounded as a Union soldier fighting in the United States Civil War. And so, this family could find no joy, no peace on that Christmas morning. As the church bells in the town heralded the day, reminding the hearers of the Savior's birth, the father, Henry, a renowned author and poet, began to write. Sadness consumed him. There was hate and conflict all around, in every corner of the nation, and in every corner of his soul. And in despair I bowed my head, there is no peace on earth, I said, for hate is strong and mocks the soul. And yet something in Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's heart remembered the Savior he had trusted many years before. Suddenly, a faint song of hope began to ring in his heart, and the message of peace began to flow from his pen. Yeah. 